Anyone who has pets who shed even a little knows having a reliable, efficient vacuum in the house is a non-negotiable. Pet hair can get everywhere and traditional or corded vacuums are big and can't always get into smaller or awkward spaces or manage furniture. So does a vacuum specifically designed for pet hair really help? I'm about to find out. You'll also find out what this vacuum's biggest downside is. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and in this review, I'll take a look at what you get with the Tyneco Pure One Pet, how well it cleans, things like how loud it is and how well it converts from a stick vac to a handheld, plus if I think I can recommend it for you overall. And really heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets a chance to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's start by checking out what's in the box. The Tyneco Pure One Air Pet comes with the main vacuum motor, which has a flip out bottom for emptying the dustbin. There is a freestanding charging base and there's the extension tube plus three tools. There's a mini power brush, a two in one dust brush and a crevice tool. The vacuum unit has an LED info screen, which can show you basic information at a glance, like the battery life and if you're in regular or max power mode. As well, there's also a dust sensor, which can detect early signs of clogs. A very common issue with vacuums is hair getting trapped and wrapped around the roller brushes, and it is a pain to clean out. The Pure One Air Pet Vacuum boasts it's made with zero tangle technology that eliminates this issue. The supposedly tangle-free brush is made with a dual comb and V-shaped bristles, which is supposed to help keep hair, both long and short, from getting stuck around the brush. This in turn will allow you to collect more hair in the dustbin and also take less time unwinding the hair from the brush. Right away, I can tell you it works. After using it for about three weeks, I finally remembered I should check on this feature and I flipped the brush over to find not a single hair. Neither human nor pet was jammed in or wrapped around the brush. The small microfiber edging around the brush does helpfully trap other smaller hairs and the overall design of this motorized head completely kept hair from getting caught. I was really pleased. The overall suction power for this vacuum is about 16,000 pascals and 230 watts. So the big question is, how well does the Pure One Air Pet clean? I used this vacuum on a variety of everyday cleaning tasks and I also put it through some dedicated tests. I use the same testing strategy with all the vacuums that I try out. I sprinkle things like finer flour, oats or rice, and bigger cracker pieces on both carpet and hard floors. Then I take a look at how much the vacuum is able to suck up. Using it to clean the sofa of accumulated dog hair was one of my primary uses and it did quite a good job. Sometimes it can be hard to get wiry dog hair off upholstery, but the Air Pet did an outstanding job. On general vacuuming tasks, it was similarly adept. I was able to vacuum my entire space, about a thousand square feet, on a single charge, and I was able to pick up everything from dust and crumbs to dirt and small spills, not to mention pet hair and other hair. In my dedicated testing, I was surprised by how effective the Air Pet was on both floors and carpets and rugs. On floors, it inhaled everything in a single pass. Now, it did struggle with larger cracker pieces and it seemed to corral them but not pick them up. Based on the way this head is built, it looks like it's not really meant for huge chunks since it did struggle to get them, but you should probably be picking those up anyway or using one of the attachments like the crevice tool. Similarly, on carpet and rugs, the Tyneco Pure One Air Pet was able to suck up both finer and coarser debris in one swoop. Many of us hate vacuuming because hauling out the vacuum and messing with all the parts can be a real pain. The Pure One Air Pet is versatile. You can use it with its extension attached for regular vacuuming and it lays almost completely flat for getting under furniture. Or just add any of the attachments to the motor for a portable hand vac that's great on upholstery or in a car or camper van. The weight of the vacuum is also really good. At about two pounds with the extension and brush attached, it feels heavy enough to be substantial and well balanced, but super light so it doesn't feel like a chore to use it. The vacuum uses an on off button under the handle and I appreciate both the placement and the ability to lock it on to leave it running. 
Some vacuums that use a trigger position for the power button force you to constantly hold it down while it's running, which isn't ideal. There is an LED light on the main brush head, which helps you see exactly where you're cleaning and any obstacles. I actually quite like this feature, and while it's not the same as shooting lasers across the floor, which vacuums like Dyson now do, it does give you a bit of extra illumination so you can see if you're missing anything. Compared to other vacuums, the Pure One Air Pet is quiet, measuring just 80 decibels or less when in use, according to Tyneco. Now, while I don't have a decibel meter to fact check this, I can say the vacuum is quite quiet in use. I'm going to turn it on here while I finish this little segment. It definitely doesn't have any kind of roar, and I honestly think someone would definitely be able to nap in another room and not be woken up by using this vacuum. The Tyneco Pure One Air Pets charging base is freestanding, meaning you don't need to worry about wall mounting it, though it does need to be near a plug. It has a small clip where you slide the vacuum into place, and this holds it whether you have the stick attachment on or it's handheld. The base is heavy to keep it from tipping or moving when you remove the vacuum, and I think, as I said, it charges the battery too. There is also holders for the tools and accessories. It may have been Dyson that first created the point-and-shoot dustbin. The concept was revolutionary when it first came out. It eliminated the need for us to reach in and pull out all the dust and hair out of the dustbin. With a point-and-shoot style dustbin, the bottom flips open and you can simply push the trigger lock to empty it out while holding it over a garbage can. Now this might be the biggest downside of this vacuum. The latch doesn't unlock well and you sometimes have to pull it open. Plus, there's no lever that helps push the debris out, so it often needs help to clear out all the dust and debris. And if seeing other people's hair, by the way, triggers you, look away now. While the roller brush is extremely adept at not getting hair tangled around it, the hair does end up in the bin, and I usually had to pull it free. Okay, let's talk battery life and charging. This vacuum takes about three to three and a half hours to fully recharge. When it's in auto mode, the runtime should be about 30 minutes. If you enable max power mode, the runtime will drop to just 10 minutes. Now, admittedly, that is not a lot of battery life, but because you will largely be leaving the vacuum on its charging base, you should always have access to a full battery. You can also buy extra batteries from Tyneco. Overall, the Tyneco Pure One S15 Pet has been a really handy vacuum around my house. It has surprisingly good suction, yet it operates on the quieter side. It picks up both finer and coarser messes, and it's lightweight and easy to grab it and give the floors a quick once-over anytime. The attachments that it comes with are useful, and the freestanding charging stand is really convenient. The vacuum was also great at battling pet hair pet hair, and I loved that it increases suction on carpets or whenever it detects dirty areas automatically. So what are the downsides? The battery life could be a bit longer at this price point, I think, and maybe the dustbin could be a smidge bigger, but that's me being kind of nitpicky. The dustbin can also be prone to clogging, and you do need to pull the junk out sometimes if you don't empty it too often. I actually think this vacuum is a really capable stick vac that gives you all the features you likely need in a cordless vacuum at a really great price point. But don't take my word for it. Will it pass the puppy test and get the Rainy seal of approval? Rainy, can you come and see the vacuum? Can you come and look at the vacuum? Come, come on, Rainy. Come on. Can you come? <laughs> Giving it a wide berth. No, you don't want to see the vacuum. Dogs hate vacuums. I've reviewed a lot of vacuums. Check out the competition and see what this stick vacuum from Dyson is all about. Or check out what Samsung's Jet 90 is really like right now. So with a convertible, con convert convertible, convert convertible? convertible vacuum.